Hello, my name is Helmut Erler and today I want to talk about low frequency level on record. Let us look at a groove through a microscope to understand better what is going on. A record groove shows the frozen motion of the cutting stylus. Here you can see a mono sine wave. It is cut laterally, parallel to the surface of the record. The level of the signal, how loud it is, is analog to the speed of the stylus that cuts it in the leg. In disk mastering, we call this speed velocity. It is expressed in centimeters per second. A record is a velocity-driven system. The faster the stylus moves, the louder the signal gets. The distance the stylus travels is called excursion. It is expressed in micrometers or mils and can be measured in the microscope. So, how does excursion change with level? Here you can see sine waves at increasing levels. The louder the signal gets, the greater excursion becomes and the more space is needed. Is this stable across the whole frequency range? Do all frequencies show the same excursion at the same level? Let us have a look at different tones. You can notice that excursion increases the lower the frequency gets. It is not very practical for disk mastering that low frequencies generate more excursion. Ideally, we would like to have the same excursion across all frequencies on a record groove. To approach this goal, a special encoder EQ curve has been developed for disk mastering, the RIAA. It rolls off a lot of bass and boosts high frequencies during the cut to allow for a more equal excursion throughout the whole frequency range. This EQ is reversed during playback to get the original spectrum of the music back. But even with RIAA encoding, we cannot reach complete unity of excursion throughout the whole spectrum. We still have a lot more space consumption in the low end than in the high end. That means that how much music we can pack on a record does very much depend on the frequency distribution. Especially with long sides, it is essential that you have a look at the low end of the music to understand and optimize space consumption. That's all for now. Goodbye.